Hi everybody, this is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw! And I wanted to bring you this video. I just started playing this round because I was working on something, thinking of a build, and then all of a sudden I have these pandas, and I think literally, I'm on round six right now, I think they gave me this Venomancer on like round three or something like that. It's just, these pandas are so overpowered. This video is not about pandas though. I just thought, hey, while I'm here, I have not made a Kira video. Kira is this little ogre looking uh, race that activates this kind of tough synergy. I think it's very specific. It's not one of my favorites, but I thought, you know what? This game is telling me right now to do this. So I'm starting the video here. Let's talk about this Kira synergy. By the way, thanks for being here and checking this video out. Like, comment, subscribe, it really does help me out. I do read all the comments and I really, really appreciate them. So thanks for that. Let's talk about this Kira synergy. Okay, so Kira, I think I'm saying it right. Maybe it's Kyra. Kira, what it does, you've got to get both of these guys here. You've got to get your Ogre Mage and you've got to get your Venomancer. So usually you don't get it this early because Venomancer is a four cost unit, but Pandas literally gave it to me at the start of the game, basically. Okay, once you have Kira, any time a melee unit, it has to be a melee unit, dies, your Kira gets 20% HP and 20% attack. So basically, as long as I have units around that are melee and will die, these two units get more and more powerful as it goes. There are a lot of different ways to build this. Um, of course, just keeping in mind that it has to be melee. It can't be someone who uses ranged attacks. I'm not going to present this like I'm creating the best Kira video possible. It really won't be the case. But I just wanted to show you what you can do with this build. I'm probably just going to do Kira Warrior... You know, I might do like a, like a beast synergy in there because um, there are a couple beasts that could work with this. Since I have pandas out on the board, I might grab some melee assassins, but you get the idea. I've got to have melee units, but once those melee units die, my other units get more and more powerful. They just keep getting stronger. So we'll see how far we can go with this build. Again, I, I never, I didn't plan on building this. I had no intention of making this uh, video or doing this build, but it feels like it fell in my lap, so I thought it would be fun. Um, I'm gonna level myself here. I'm just gonna put this guy down and put this guy down. Again, all melee units. Every single one of them a melee unit. And the way you can tell someone is a melee unit is their range over here is a one which is a melee attack. For instance, my uh, mage panda here, his range is a three. So he will not count for my Kira synergy once he dies. He will not help my units. The only reason he's out there is because he's just feeding us free units. The, these pandas, I know there's a buff coming very, very soon, but right now, I just don't see a reason not to even have them out for a little while because you're just getting free money having them on the board. That, that's my big thing with pandas. I, I think it's, they're OP, they need to go, but right now, they're free money, baby. So I see no reason not to have them. Lord of Sand could be an okay assassin for us that's a beast. Uh, Hell Knight is one of my favorite early units. I really like Hell Knight because he is an early demon, and all that really means is you're gonna be getting uh, a lot of extra pure damage from him. Demons, if they're by themselves, or if you go for the two Witcher demon build, you just get a ton of extra damage for having those units. I'm at 29 gold right now, and I need to be at 30. I'll sell this guy. I don't often use Ghost Kid anyway, so. Everyone is a melee unit. Uh, except for, again, our Mage Panda, and that's just because he's going to help us get more and more units. And we're just going to keep pushing forward with this Kira build. I could have multiple Kiras on the board, so I could find multiple Ogre Mages, multiple Venomancers that could all take advantage from this ability. And if that's the case, I could see going that direction. I could... Ooh, Pirate Captain. I mean... 
pirate captain is just a lot of these units are are, are really really good for our build here so i'm just gonna start grabbing some people um i'll, I'll get rid of my piece i don't really care i think i'm gonna save this egg probably for one of my kiras and then item wise i don't really care uh i'm not trying to <laughs> like come up with a great item combination for this video i could probably swap someone out for pirate captain just because he's that good doesn't look like hell knight's gonna make our, our board right now if i have a lot of kiras i could do kira insectoid so i do have a previous video explaining that insectoid synergy it's a tough one to make work but you could definitely do insectoid kira uh, and get a really good combination there and that might be a fun route to go and you see um, Our guy just keeps getting stronger. He has hundred and four attack right now And now he has 117 once that unit dies so they'll just keep getting more powerful as units fall around him It's, it's pretty fun. It's fun to see uh, We've got two cave clan out there. I mean this guy is a better cave clan. I, I could hmm well, I'd like to start leveling, but I also am so money hungry that I don't think I'm going to do it yet. We've got another cave clan here. We could get four cave clan on the board, which would be nice. Just gives us a lot of health. So that's an option for us, too. I feel like I'm just flush with lots of great options. And I, I have my Soul Reaper here. I'm going to toss him, even though I love him. He's probably one of my favorite units in the game. I'm just going to get rid of him. Uh, he synergizes really well also with Venomancer, but I'll get rid of him for the time being. This build is going to start to take off once we can get more units on the board, because more units on the board just means more people can die. And then, of course, once Venom and uh, Ogre become higher starred units, it'll also really take off. I'm saving my little egg here to star up my Venomancer, because Venomancer is just such a hard, great carry right now. Um, I think that's the way to go, is have my really strong carries, like Venom, level him up with the egg. As far as everybody else out there, we've got a two-star Abyssal Guard. Two-star units are better than one-star units. This does give me a synergy, though. I think I will swap it for the time being and get my pirate and abyssal guard out there. Pirate captain is ah, just one of my favorite units in the game. His boat stun is so fun. I love getting a blink dagger on a pirate captain and having him blink behind the enemy lines and start the match with a big boat that just crashes into everybody. It's just a good time, okay? He's a good time, man. Let's see. And it's just fun. It's fun watching this Venomancer get stronger and stronger and stronger as the match goes on. Everyone who dies just makes him more and more powerful. Which is why I'm stacking my items on him. And just what that means is I'm putting all my best items on this character because he's going to be the one who lives the longest and hopefully takes out all of our enemies for us. And in this sense, he did. Thanks, pal. Okay, let's see. You got another Ogre Mage? That's nice. I will not be using my egg on the Ogre Mage, but I I can see the value in it, but I don't think I'm going to be doing it. And now the question is, am I going to get this Cave Clan Synergy off the ground at some point? I might not, and I really do think I'm going to go Insectoid Kira, possibly, depending on how this starts to play out. So I'm just going to toss a couple of these people. I'm going to toss at least you and you. I'm going to bring in Werewolf. He's a transition unit for me as well, but he is Beast. So if I get my uh, if I get my Lord of Sand out there, I'll also have my Werewolf out there. It'll just give me that Beast synergy. He's also a warrior, which helps me out. Okay. Pirate Captain is a useful friend. And so is uh, Abyssal Guard, you know. Um, just any two-star units early on. Are, are helpful. They might not be part of your overall build, but if you can grab a quick two-star unit that's decent, I always grab them. Okay, nobody we're really looking for here. Again, if we were going a demon build, we'd definitely be grabbing that Fallen Witcher, but we are not. So, I'm going to start leveling us here, and that lets us put out... Who do I want to put out? I'll put out another Kira. And I'll just like, right now I'm just going to put him in the back here, just so 
These wolves bite at him. So what happens because of this is any of the units that die, the melee units, both Ogre Mages and the Venomancer gets more and more powerful. And correct me if I'm wrong, that's a weird name for this person, right? Venomancer? I don't know why. I just, whenever I say it, I always think it should be the little bug guy who spawns those other little bugs. <laughs> I just feel like that's a weird name for this character. Sound off in the comments. <laughs> Am I right about this name? Okay. So, when it comes to items that I want to put on uh, my Venomancer, I want to make him stronger, but I also like making him beefy, kind of tanky. So, um, let's see. Hmm. Rune Hammer. I could pair. Oh, do I have two Rune Hammers? Maybe I'll just do that. It's. I don't think it's the absolute strongest, but I do think it's pretty fun. So, I'm going to take my two Rune Hammers. No one here is coming to the team. Rune hammer, rune hammer, and I will combine those. Just one of my favorite items. I don't think it's the best item. Again, it's just one of my favorites. And again, I'm just stacking all the items on this dude. I want him out there alone because I want him to have the highest chance of dying. Um, first, because every melee unit who dies, who's not one of my Kira's, just makes us stronger. Like they say, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay. Now I'm starting to question, are any of these cave clans going to make this build? And I think the answer is no, they will not. So I'm getting rid of them and I'm continuing to level. I want to keep pushing my level higher and higher. That way I can find more Venomancers and I can have more units on the board. It just gives me the ability to get stronger and stronger. I mean, look at him right now. He's got 180 strength. He's just going around smashing everybody with his big smash hammer. <laughs> All right. Wow. Yeah, he knocked everybody out. Kept clubbing them over the head. And they died because of it. Okay, so we've got another Insectoid here. So I think I'm going to be transitioning into Insectoid Kira. And basically what that's going to mean is I'm going to try to get as many Ogre Mages and Venomancers on the board as I can. And all these guys are going to spawn Insectoids once the duplicate dies. This very second, I don't need to swap them for my two warriors. I could, but Pirate Captain's really good, so, you know, it, you could go either way with this. I don't think there's a, a huge reason to swap them this second. I'm going to continue to level. So just uh, hitting that L2 button, spending gold to gain experience. Every four gold is four experience. And yeah, we're, we're doing pretty good. The, the pandas have stopped giving me units, but they gave me so much at the start that I can't blame them. I'm not mad at them. I'll grab another panda here because I might have these pandas trigger off the Kira synergy as well. Uh, soon, you know, I'm level eight. So here's what I think I'm gonna do. Am I doing it? I'll try it. I'm gonna swap you and I'm gonna swap you and I'm going to put out another panda. So what this, what I have here is I have three Kira units right here, some pandas for melee, but they're also duplicates. And then I've got my insectoid synergy that lets me spawn insectoids once a duplicate dies. So we've kind of got a lot of ways to win here. Now, no one's like, my Venomancer, once he becomes a two star, this really will start to take off more and more. But this just gives us more and more units on the board. You saw that ogre die, and he became a little Lord of Sand there. So you saw this ogre die. I actually don't know what he became. Maybe they killed him too fast. When Once this panda dies... Oh, he turned into that, that guy right there. It happens too quick sometimes, but they're turning into units because they're copies on the board. That's why that is happening. And nobody we need here. I'm just going to keep leveling. And... I could start rolling for some of the units I need. There'd be nothing wrong with it, but I just want more units on the board. That's all I want, more melee units on the board. Keep giving me melee units, more, 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 especially copies. If I find any pandas, if I find any ogres, if I find either of these, well, the insectoids don't really help me, so. Oops, I hit a button and I leveled and I didn't try to. I'll sell you. 
So this is an interesting way to do this because I've got these pandas out there and they're not really the best for this build, but they are very, very good at possibly finding me some of these units. So it's, you know, it's a bit of a building situation, if that if that makes sense. I'm not super interested in having them to have super strong pandas on the board, but I'm interested in them finding me another Venomancer or finding me more ogres. Ooh, another Thorn Predator, not bad. He might make it to two stars soon. And I'm gonna continue leveling. We're here on a, you know, a bot round with these lethal Ursas, so we definitely don't need to start spending money. Once I get to level 9 here, I can roll a little bit. I call it rolling. I guess the t the correct term is refreshing, and that's when you hit the R1 button and cycle these units here for a whole new batch of units. But I call it rolling. It's like rolling the dice. Let's see what you get. Oh, I'm actually surprised we're doing so, well, I guess not so poorly, but I was like, I kind of thought we'd mop that up a little easier. Okay, let's see what we got here. Wooden club, and I didn't get to see my next item. What was it? Oh, yeah, it's not the best. Hmm, 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 hmm. I could combine... I get another one of those. I'd really rather have that. We'll, well, I'll, I'll just hold off. I'll just I'll put it on him, but I'm not too worried about that. Let's see. Okay. Um, oops. I'm gonna level and throw my pirate out here. Should have done that quicker, and I didn't. So now I'm level nine. I can start looking for some units here. Another thorn predator. Another pirate captain. That could be a cool one. You know, having multiple pirate captains out there is just great for Kira and. Pirate Captain's great, so yeah, I could definitely do that. Let's see. We really want more of our Venomancer. I, I need a two-star Venomancer because he's going to be the the heart and soul and the lifeblood of this team. Let's see. You gotta go. Uh, I don't need a second panda. I'd rather have a second pirate captain. They're just better. Um, move you like that. I just kind of want these. Well, one over here, one over there. That's not terrible. The positioning on this I don't think is ideal, but I'm not super stressed about it. Let's roll a little bit. See if we can find that Venomancer. Doom's pretty good. Um, where you at, buddy? Ooh, Rogue Guard. Hi. You're a good unit. Uh, a good melee unit. But I don't think you're going to do what we think we do. Sacred Lancer. Where's this guy at? There's a Venomancer. Okay. So when am I going to find him? He's got to be here somewhere, right? So making him two-star is going to make this build a lot better. I could also have two of them out on the board. That's not a terrible idea either. You know, just having more and more Kiras and having them spawn. But I, I really would like to... Ooh. I got some decisions to make. Well, two star, I'm gonna star these units up. And that means I'm gonna put out a second panda. And you know what? Ugh. Ugh. What do I do? I'll, keep, I'll, I'll buy you. You know what, for the time being, I'm just gonna have two Venomancers just so they can also benefit from the insectoid strategy. I don't think this is the right call. <laughs> I like making decisions that I immediately don't like. I don't think this is the right call. But, you know, they're good. Every unit that dies benefits both of them now. So, we'll see what happens because of it. We definitely still have our one that's going to be the main one. And Pirate Captain, you know, it was nice having two Pirate Captains out there, but a two-star Pirate Captain is just a dope unit. And, this way, if I do happen to find more Pirate Captains, they all sort of benefit uh, what we're building towards. I'm going to keep what we've got here for now, and I'm not, I don't think I'm going to start, I don't, uh, do I roll once? No. Yes. No. Uh. Ugh, I'm just going to level. I want to get to level 10. I just want more melee units on the board. 
We're in a nice spot right here, but I would really like more melee units. It would be nice if these pandas actually gave me the assassin panda. It just gives us that assassin synergy and gives us a higher likelihood of finding more duplicate units. But for now, they are not doing that. Takes a lot of people to kill that one Venom Venomancer, but I think the right move. Well, now I'm definitely starring him up. Now that it's free, um, or not free, but now that I don't have to use my egg. Let's look. I'm gonna roll. Doom. Hmm, two dooms. Hmm. What if I do a doom and a doom? Is that better than a two-star pin? I think it is. I do lose my Doom Synergy though, don't I? Does it count when you dupe units? I actually don't know that. Ah, different pieces. So you don't lose your Doom Synergy right away. And they do give me Insectoids when they die. So maybe that'll be okay for the time being. Again, this is just, <laughs> we're like piecing this weird build together as we go. Cattle Hide Armor, I could see going that. Hmm, I would, yeah, I am going to do that. And what that gives us is just the uh, ability to get this item. Gives everyone some armor around them. Put that on Venomancer, of course. I'll put this little thing on eh, Pirate Captain. I like you. Most things are on Venomancer here. I guess, why not? Oh, PlayStation controls. You are bad. I want to get to level 10. I think that would be very cool to do. And I really want more Venomancers and Ogre Mages on the board. No one's holding my Ogre Mages, that's for sure. But other people could be holding our Venomancers. Hmm. Worked out pretty good. That two-star Venomancer is just, you know. He's turning on. He's turning on, and he's just such a beefy, tanky dude. Okay, who do we got here? I could see swapping out some people for a beast at some point. Maybe swapping out Doom, so I will grab this werewolf again, just because if I get that beast synergy, that helps us overall. Gonna level a little bit. Soon we'll be level 10. Soon. I could use this egg to star up Doom. Lord of Sand, but I'd rather hold it to hopefully get two two-star Venomancers on the board at least. That's where I'd really like to be. That boat, man. Oof. That boat really does it. I mean, when you, when you summon a ghost ship, you have to assume it's going to do some damage, and it really does. Another resistance cloak. Ooh, wow. Okay, so we got a lot going on here. We got a couple Ogre Mages, we got a Heaven Brew, and we got our Assassin here. So, Dooms are leaving. They're good units, but I want the Pandas out there to give me more Panda units. And now I can have multiple Kiras out there, which is definitely what I would like. Let's just put them... Let's kind of make them safe. <laughs> you guys be safe. Be safe over here. And then I'll swap. Uh, once I level again, I'm going to put another one out there. This probably means this beast synergy is not going to happen for me. And we got this one item I didn't put on anybody. And the nice thing about these Kiras is if they live for a while, they just get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. And if they don't, they just contribute to our melee units. I mean, you, you look at this Kira. He has 310 damage. He just gets so powerful because he gets more and more powerful every time a guy dies. Kind of a weird way to think about it, huh? Every time someone dies, I get stronger. Let's see. Okay, I don't want that, but I do want this. Yes. And I guess I can put this on somebody else at this point, huh? Because I got two of them. So I'll put it on this dude. And then this can go on you. Okay. Things are going pretty good for us. I could probably switch something so the Venomancer's not kind of the first guy targeted in this line. Ooh! Assassins! They're jumping everywhere! Who knows what's gonna happen? Okay. 
Now we can start rolling and looking for our units. Basically, we're just insectoid cure all the way. These pandas are here because they help us find more units. And then after that, I don't really need them. And I don't think Werewolf's gonna be making our build. I just don't. Sorry, Werewolf. I'm so sorry. Look at this guy. He's up at 340 attack. 4,400 health. Ooh, another Venomancer. Don't mind if I do. And I, I, I simply don't mind. Okay. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Dragonite. I don't want these units. I'm just buying them. So hopefully I find the units I'm looking for in that tier. Ooh. Thorn Predator, huh? Dark Spirit. I love Dark Spirit. I don't know if Dark Spirit makes any sense for us. I just think it's just one of the coolest units. Oh, we got another magic thing. I'll put it on the pirate. The strongest ghost ship of all time. Putting all my magic items on the pirate. Oops, didn't let me see it. Didn't let me see it again. <laughs> okay, PlayStation. Ooh, I think I'm gonna go probably with this here. I could do armor gives us attack speed for all allies and reduces enemy attack range. I think I'm gonna go for that instead of the uh, sort of more damage option. And, you know, we'll see if it's the right call, but I think I'm gonna go for that. Who do we got here? Anybody important? Anybody we need? I don't really need to do anything more with my Thorn Predator or my Lord of Sand than two star it and then move on. This build is all about people eventually dying so that our really strong people can get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger. I mean, look at him right now. He's just such a beast. And everyone who dies makes him more of a beast. 372. Even this one guy with nothing on him, 288 damage. And these guys are pretty invincible right now. Yeah. Sorry, pal. I guess sorry, not sorry, right? Another Venom answer. So, ooh, Kira, they, they put you on the board. Another Venom answer. Oh, okay. I don't need two Ember Blades. I'll star you up. Why not? Then I can actually put that Kira back here. So now I've got two two star Venom answers. That's pretty dope for us. Let's see who we can find. We're just looking for Venomancers and Ogre Mages right now. That's Those are the only people I care about. Pirate Captain, I love you, but I'm not going to grab any more of you. Dark Spirit. Lord of Sand. Hey, there's another Ogre. Where are we going? Just makes our units even better to have more of them on the board. And the more cures we have, the more they will benefit from the insectoid strategy, and it's just more, 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 more. In a weird way, these two can actually be more like positioned as frontline units because I'm totally fine if something bad happens to them. I know that sounds evil. But I swear, it's not evil. It's just about winning the war. I'm a good person. I just want to kill my opponents. doing a lot of uh, roll in here, seeing who we can find. We can actually pull these pandas here in a minute and just have like basically only Venomancers and uh, Ogres. It'd be kind of cool to see. Another Venomancer? Cool. Um, we're like right there. I, I don't know. It'd be fun to see, right? Let's just see it. Let's just put them out there. Screw it. Sorry, pandas. I just want to go full on. Like, look at all these guys. <laughs> Kira insectoid. Full on Kira insectoid. Let's just see what happens. This was a. This was always meant to be a fun build anyway. So you guys gotta go. At some point, I can't use the pandas anymore. 
Oh, I forgot that pirate captain's out there. Just doing his thing. He's a good dude, that pirate captain. Imagine being the one pirate captain around an entire team of ogres. It's like that movie, The 13th Warrior. You guys remember that? I used to love that movie. I don't know why I loved it so much, but I loved it. Okay, now we're up against that Black Dragon King. Let's see. We want... Ooh, another Venomancer. That gives us the three star. So, now we have room to put these pandas back here for a moment. I would rather have my... Uh, oops. I would rather have my... Uh, Kira's in some ways, but I mean, you can't pass up a three star Venomancer. He's just too good. Heaven Brew. Every time I think Heaven Brew, I mean, just now I'm just thinking of old things. Every time I think Heaven Brew, I think Homestar Runner and Witch's Brew. For some reason, I, it's like my favorite line read ever is him saying Witch's Brew. I just think it's the greatest. Okay. Yeah, I'll take you finally. Yeah, this Venomancer is just such a beast right now. It's kind of crazy. Panda, you can go up here. Okay. Maybe now I'll grab some pirates? I don't even know. At this point, I don't even know. We could get a three star of this little cutie pie, Heaven Brew, at some point. Oh, we two starred our mage. I didn't even notice that happened. This guy's just getting so beefy, man. 6400 health, 528 damage a hit, 7200 health, 600 damage a hit. I mean, look at this guy. Just a beast. Okay. Let's see. We're going to keep rolling here. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Yeah, I'll take a three star panda. Why not? Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Keep rolling. Pirate captain. I mean, maybe I'm just going to stack multiple it's kind of fun to stack multiple pirate captains instead of these pandas um but these pandas are also good i mean he's a two-star ember blade a two-star thunder trace and a three-star heaven brew they're good units they don't benefit from our kira synergy at all excuse me our insectoid synergy at all but they're good this guy is just i mean devastating if I was facing this build right now, I would think, first off, why did this person build this? <laughs> and I would be annoyed that it was working so well. Okay. Let's roll. Who do we got? Royal Guard, Doom Arbiter. Ooh, another two-star Pirate Captain. I think I've got to switch. I mean, these Pandas are good, but you got to get this. Another pirate two-star Pirate Captain out there? I can't resist. I can't. Ask me if I can resist, and I'll tell you the truth. And the truth is, I can't. He's just a great unit. He's a melee unit, where this one was not a melee unit. And I don't need these pandas really finding me any more units. If I could fill the rest of the board with ogres and pirates, I would. I'm sure there's... Uh, if I really analyze this, I bet it would be smart to grab a couple beasts right now, get that beast synergy going. Um, but in general, I'm fine with what's happening, because we're just kind of dominating at this point. We just had a weird, just a weird build. Just let us kind of crush everything. Uh, yeah, I'll star you up now. I've got two three-star units. So now again, I have room for people, which means my pandas will come back. Just so I can have more units on the board. Um, who am I looking for now? Now, I guess I'm going to look for... I want more of those pirates, really. I'm just kind of rolling at this point, even though the... Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I mean... Tsunami Stalker's kind of not bad. I could put Soul Reaper out there and have all of our guys get, you know, lifesteal. Probably the actual... Like, an actual good strategy, but also... I'm just kind of stomping this person, so... Who cares? There we go! I didn't think I was even going to be recording this video. They threw that Kira at me, and I thought... Let's do a Kira build. Let's see what happens. And it worked out pretty well. So I hope that video was helpful or at least entertaining. Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, again, those likes, comments, subscribes, they really do help. So I really appreciate them. Thanks, everybody. I'll see you next time. Mwah!